Page three of the Ghanaian Times today, you can learn about how the GRE is chasing Nana Kwame Vidyakun, aka Cheddar, for tax evasion. Apparently, they say there are some two years arrears of tax that he hasn't paid, and then uh, earlier he had to pay a fine for uh, some late tax. Uh, I don't know. Ah, this is Ghana. This is Ghana. Uh, the GRE's so job all day long is to remind people of the tax they have to pay. They send, uh, what's it called, adverts here for us to read and remind people to file their tax returns. And the fact that if you file it late, there's a penalty. And people file it late. And there are penalties. Because the system is hard. And it's always just a few of us who are paying taxes. While many others completely get away with it. Right? But suddenly cheddar is their target and you know all throughout the past seven years i've been hearing about how people who speak up against government suddenly find themselves targets of the gre i keep hearing about it i mean I, I, it hasn't happened to me yet maybe after this video <laughs> it will but it, it hasn't it, I, it, I keep hearing about it it would be an interesting thing because on one on one side i'm completely in favor of everybody who has to pay tax being made to do so like it has to happen you have to pay your tax it has to but i also know that in reality sometimes people don't pay it all at once people you know break it up over a couple of years and so forth because you know it, it sometimes it can be punitive the taxes can be very punitive because only a few of us are paying so I don't know what the, the idea of this story is. Is it just to, you know, um, malign a political opponent? But why are they taking this particular opponent so seriously? What are they so afraid of with Cheddar? Like, what exactly is it that they are worried he will do? I don't see them doing this to Alan Chemantin. Or uh, what's the other gentleman? Uh, is it Sam Ankara? Yes, Dr. Ankara. Yes, yes. I don't see them doing this to them, but somehow Cheddar is a threat. I wonder why. Anyway, he should pay his tax. That we agree. Everybody should pay taxes, right? Every Ghanaian, every person who has responsibilities to the state should honor them. We also expect good governance and all the other wonderful things that are expected. And if all of this is to just suggest that we've dug up his uh, tax records, he's not as, uh, as, as clean on that level as you want it to be. I mean, I did not like the other extensions in the story and the connections and all of that. But essentially, there isn't anything wrong with uh, a journalist reporting that somebody has actually refused to file tax returns and was penalized for it. It's, it's an example to everybody to do it. It's the timing that's a bit, you know, uh, problematic for me. And again, I also get the point that, as Kojo was trying to say, it, it all comes together in a way that sometimes you think, you think that, ah, the guy first wanted to do a convention, but it's allowed a convention. We, we, of course, I mean, let me even start for the Salima connection. Yeah, and all the things that she went through, the convention disallow us. Then this uh, his so-called problem with some stations refusing to even host him and all of that. I mean, in all fairness, we've hosted other people. I mean, people with more than questionable sources of whatever you want to say in the republic. So we know that the the standards are not that high. In all fairness, so when it when it when it comes together, it's almost as if there is some concomitant fear of the individual. Who, um, in all fairness, some people have actually rejected. Some of us feel it's not really a player in the political it's space. Not, so I, it, it just gets you worried how it's it's become. I don't, I don't know what our intelligence. I don't know what our intelligence agencies Maybe have we are underestimating the impact. Oh, well. Maybe we do not have the superior knowledge that. So enough. I want to hear the GRE come out on this matter. Explain what really is the issue here. This story is anybody who understands some of these things, you're unsure where the tax evasion is. You're also unsure where the main problem is whether he filed or failed to file tax returns. And if you hold that stick up, how many people are refused to file tax returns in this republic? They are personal tax returns in this republic. I'm not saying it's a good thing to do, but many people will fall. So it's not it's not my 
biggest problem with the story, right? I said that it's, it's, it's not connected properly for me. I just hope but you know, that me, this is me, one of those things for me. I mean, that we do that to to regular politicians. For me, if if uh, he had to pay a fine yeah. in previous years, he should have known that this was going to come up. Yeah. And once you pay a fine, you don't go back paying fines again. You'd agree with me, right? Yeah, yes, <laughs> I mean, yes, you don't pay yeah. fine and go back paying fine for the same thing again. And so, that's one of the areas you think that no, you would ask you, you'd say no. Nana Kwame Bediakon should have known and should have done the right things. And so whatever it is, you have to file your tax returns. If you have tax liabilities that you've not paid, you have to pay. So for me, that's what I would say. But of course, the timing is also important. And, you know, this is somebody saying a source within the GRA telling us. Uh, is it the GRA that is indicating so? No, it's a source within the GRA. So it's not the GRA as a, a body saying you haven't filed your tax returns. Mm -hmm. This is somebody just trying to draw attention and using the non-filing of tax returns on the person. And so, you know, you can understand this is uh, politics as we've termed it in this part of our world. And people will do anything just to become relevant, isn't it? Mm.